na ye 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 determined to try and uh, contest everything so that just tells you that um, there's uh, a change in uh, personality from the players and their first offensive forward forces Alfred De Cereza to make the same just goes ahead to do a little bit of play acting it's all good to shore up the confidence and all good to get the crowd behind you be very worried not to play into the opponent's mind games yeah exactly and of course that's what De Cereza is such a you know, a charismatic goalkeeper, I must say, he just enjoys um, pulling off a few tricks here and there. Kakensa fitting it in here to the own running. Amaku tries to square it off to the opposite end. Nobody following through here. And Alfred Mudekereza will pick that up for the moment. Right, right and Okani combining with Alan Okello. And just look at that movement there from Okello. Just tries to get the ball right into the path of Anukani. Well, Anukari doesn't score many, but, uh, well, when they do land in, they normally are of premium importance. Well, I'll tell you that that was a very brilliant um, piece of play. For but um, I guess the coach has also seen the game in a different uh, kind of uh, prism, so you can't uh, be grudging. Karisa with his first touch! Talk about an impact up! Seconds on the pitch, and the captain leads the way. Oh, these are the things they dream of. This is the stuff you pray for. This is the impact you hope to make. And for Milton Carissa, it is his means to deliver the day. Vipers 1, Maroons nil. Just watch an introduction that is uh, by Milton Carissa. Before he can even settle into the game, his first touch has the ball in the back of the net. What an interesting outcome this is, but um, quite an inspired substitution. But looking at um, the way that uh, ball is floated in, you just get a sense that um, it was a bit of uh, poor defending coming in uh, from um, Maroon's uh, football club. Just look at that header coming in from uh, Yunus Sentamu, guiding it into the path of Milton Carissa. Makes no mistake, just plants his foot onto the ball into the back of the net. Um, but I think, by and large, that's the kind of goal that they should have avoided. Had they kept their wits up, had they kept their concentration levels up, that's not the kind of uh, drop ball that you allow to bounce into your area. Or rather, or rather allow uh, the opponent to get ahead too, like uh, you know, Center Me just did there. Well, Maroons, if you did not know his name, now you surely do. Milton Carissa. And looking to strike from uh, a little further out, which is hardly their style. But now they just they pick up the ball. This is Amaku setting it in, looking for support. Picked up well by Ojo. Darius makes the equalizer. Oh, now this is going to get real interesting. There will be a huge hint of a deflection there, but will it matter? To Maroons and all the others ambitious for the title, it's a strike back. The law of averages begins to even it out. Well, I was about to tell you something, Jermaine, that uh, Maroons need to show belief in their play and get back um, to trying to put um, Vipers on the back foot. And that's exactly what they did. Just look at that. Ojo gets the ball and he strikes it hard. You, yes, it's helped by the deflection, but the thing is that... Um, he showed the confidence to try and um, strike as hard as he did there. And that's exactly what you feel that um, has been missing from this Maroon side from the time that they considered. Now you think that with this equalizer, they've got um, their belief back and uh, we should have a real game on our hands now. Well, that piles more pressure once again on Vipers. And just with one hand that giveth, their substitute got them the leading goal. Their other substitute has the misfortune of deflecting this to his own net. Yeah, very, very uh, interesting circumstances.